Okay, so this is going to be a test between the Farmlands Cooperative, which looks like this, and the Shoreline cons Consortium, which looks like this. There's a couple issues already that I've seen. Um, I don't know what to call the tokens uh, here, and there's supposed to be 20, but in my set that I was I got from the Jason, um, it only gave me 16. So we'll see if I need 16 or if I can need to get the uh, extra four there. But I gave myself 20 uh, up here just in case. Here's the 16 and there's the four. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go through this pretty slowly because I don't know exactly where to start, especially because both of them have set up as J. Set up as J. Um, so, I will roll to see who starts first. The pink dice are for the shoreline and the orange dice are for the uh, farmland cooperative. Um, Let's see, we got three. Uh, I also need to put in some cards here. One second, saved objects. I put the cards in. I wanna, I'm going to use the, uh, the standard deck here. That's going to live up here. Okay. Uh, this deck already is missing the... Uh, oh, what are they called? The, the dominance cards. So that's already good. I have that pre-saved as the 50 other cards. Okay, so... Uh, we started with this. Uh, the shoreline is going to start first. So shoreline gets to place six warriors in any corner along the river, which is not another player's homeland. I guess if it's along, if it's a corner and along the river, I think that's only this one, isn't it? I don't really know what happens if they're playing with everyone else then. But anyway, we play. Let's try that anyway. So we're going to put six warriors. Uh, one sec. I think I'm in the wrong view there. Top down. There we go. And then I can do that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we take one, two, three, four. Oops, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'll keep that going. Put them down here. This video might take a while at this rate. Um, feel free to skip if you're watching. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, and then flip your board and gather your tokens and buildings in front of you. Okay, is there any? It doesn't look like there's any place to put them on the board here. There's no place to put them, so we will see. This is also a test line, uh, test run to see if it makes sense from the start. I don't think there's going to be strategy, but that's part of the beauty here. Um, this is already looks like it's set up, so but I, I will see what happens on the back here. Uh, flip your board, fill your buildings and tokens with uh, tracks with fields, windmills, and wells. Um, I think I talked, I talked to the guy that made this, and he said um, we're it's not. Uh, it, that's still a typo. There's a couple things on here that aren't officially done, but just ignore stuff like that. Uh, number two, in a central clearing with the least enemy pieces, place three warriors and a field. Then place five warriors spread between two adjacent clearings. I think I'm going to go up in this rabbit one. So we take five warriors, one, two, three, four, and five. Well, that's technically five. Uh, we'll put them over here is where I said. And then we're going to take... Oh, I, I lied. Okay, three warriors. Three warriors. I can read, I promise. Uh, then we're going to take five and put them uh, in adjacent clearings. Um, I think it said two adjacent clearings. Two adjacent clearings. I'm also forgetting a field. Uh, I don't think it matters which field, but I like to go left to right. Okay, um, so we're going to put them there, and we're going to put three all the way over here in the four far corner there. I think that's a good setup. Who knows? We'll find out. Um, I think that is... It, we will have the shoreline go first. Okay, let's look at their bird song. Number one, flood. You may remove one marsh token. Uh, we don't have any marsh tokens, but I guess these are now called the marsh tokens. That's useful to know. Okay. Uh, you may remove one marsh token in a clearing you roll, which also contains enemy warriors. Remove all pieces from that clearing other than your warriors. You just swallow them up. That's kind of cool. Uh, number two is gather. Choose any number of clearings with tulips and remove all tulips present there. Then place warriors in clearings equal to tulips removed. Wow. And we can't do any of those because we don't have any tokens on the board yet. Uh, number three is to market. Allocate tulips removed in gather to into columns in your auction block as desired. Wow. Cool. Daylight. Before I read the daylight, we haven't done anything yet, but I want to read at the top. It says Masters of the Waterways. Uh, clearings with marsh tokens are considered river clearings. Interesting. When moving into a clearing with a marsh token, enemies cannot move in more warriors than you have present there. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, shorebirds. Uh, you treat rivers as paths, but 
must still obey rule when moving along them. Okay, so that's similar to otters, but the otters don't have, uh, they don't care about rule when they move along the river. Okay. Daylight, take up to four actions. They can move. That's easily enough. Uh, move from a river clearing. Okay, that's a little different. Battle in a, in a clearing on or adjacent to the river. Okay. Um, let me think here. I think everything is adjacent to a river, so that's battle anywhere. Okay. That's fine. Even without... Hmm. Huh. I wonder if the river is not river clearings, but only the marsh. I don't know. I'm going to treat all river as river. Hmm. But it seems like every every map then would be adjacent, almost adjacent to... Strange. Irrigate. Reveal a card matching a clearing you rule. Um, I, I haven't drawn cards yet. Reveal a card matching a clearing you rule adjacent to the river to place a marsh token. Um, yeah, okay. So river is river. Okay. Um... Build, reveal a card matching a clearing with a marsh token to build a polder. I guess the, these are called polders. Okay. Grow, place a tulip in each clearing with a poder. Um, these are totally Holland and tulips. I see the, 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 the theme here. Um, place a tulip in each clearing with a poder, um, plus one tulip for each tulip already present in that clearing. Wow. Um, and then second, craft using tulips. That's kind of cool. So I guess your ideal thing is to put your poters in different places and then just have all the uh, the tulips as much as possible. Um, then we'll move on to auction for a little bit uh, after after this. Uh, I want to read at the top. It says, spurred by excess capital from ventures abroad, the cons consortium, I can read this word, believes that they can uh, spread their flower growing craze across the woodland and make a fortune in the process. Super cool. Okay, auction block, we'll see that in a second. So let's do our daylight here. Uh, we're going to draw three cards. <laughs> we're going to draw three cards. Uh, we got one, we got two, we got three. Okay, and these guys get one, and they get two, and they get three. These shuffle, These don't look shuffled. Let's put these back in and do it again. I don't think I shuffled since I think I have it uh, just not shuffled. Let's go with that. Uh, there we go, that's fine. Uh, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. One, two, three, uh, there and flip. And one, two, three, uh, there and flip. Well, you know, <laughs> three fox cards instead, okay. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, we're going to reveal the card magic clearing your rule to adjacent to place a marsh token. Okay, I wanted to do that, I think, and uh, we gotta move. I wanna move, I think, um, build and huh I want to do three things but I guess maybe not irrigate move build and grow let's go we'll move down here away from them so we're gonna move one two down here uh, we're going to oops that's the wrong word here we go move to from a river clearing we did that we're going to oh I see you this isn't a river clearing now so I wouldn't be able to move from here. I don't think I need to, though. That's fine. Um, build, reveal a card matching, uh, a clearing with a marsh token. Oh, okay, so I do need to put a, a marsh there. Yeah, okay, so I need to irrigate and maybe build here. Maybe that's what I do. Uh, move, irrigate, and build. So reveal a card, reveal a card. I need two fox cards. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, well, no, can't do that either. Irrigate, irrigate? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what we do. Okay, so we're going to show the uh, the bunny card. We're going to show the fox card. We're going to irrigate, irrigate. I think this is correct. We're going to put one here and one over here. Huh. Adjacent to the river. Um, uh, uh, clear, river clearing. Okay, so I'm assuming, I'm assuming, adjacent to the river. It doesn't matter anyway, because it's adjacent to a river. Um, so what I mean, what I, what I want to say here is we can put Marsh here and Marsh there. Um, and then even if, yeah, I, that, that, that should be legal, I think. Okay, those are my three crafts, or three, three, um, three moves there, three daylight actions. We're on crafting with tulips. Um, we can craft a crossbow, it looks like. Yep, we're going to craft a crossbow. So we're going to grab a crossbow and get one point. 
Oh, that's not. That, there's no points there, but that's okay. Um, and grab a point. Okay, we're on to evening. Auction, hold an auction as described in the auction block. Resolve all results before moving on to the next step. Okay, I don't think we can auction mm -hmm. since we don't have any. Um, we don't have any tulips there. I think that's the the logic there. When you hold an auction, players, I'm at the in the auction block, auctioning. Uh, when you hold an auction, players may bid number of VP to acquire any number of tulips in a given column. The consortium may decide to reject or accept tulip purchases at their discretion. Wow. Scoring. When a purchase is completed, the consortium scores VP equal to what was bid by the lead bidder each in each column. Bidders do not lose a VP. When purchased, uh, after resolving their effects, tulips are removed from the game. Wow, that's why you need 20 of them. They get removed. Um, okay, so let me think here. You, you, when you g grow... Right, to market, number three on Birdsong. Uh, allocate tulips removed and gather from number two. And your auction block is desired. Okay, so you can put them on to draw. Um, so I guess... Cool. I believe. Let me let me see if this makes sense. Uh, let me zoom in here because I think this is going to be useful to see here. So I believe I put this here, for example. When you purchase tulips in this column, draw a card for each tulip. So then I can say, well, how many, how many VP do I does someone give me? And then they're like, well, I'll let you take three VP. I'll take I'll let you take four, and then they get to bid who get whoever gets to draw a card. Meanwhile, you don't want to do that because that'll make uh, these guys grow very quickly. Um, and it looks like that's their main way of getting uh, VP here. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing they don't work very well in a two-player game uh, for the sole purpose of they don't want them to score points, so they're not going to uh, do that, right? Hmm. This might not work out. I think these guys are good if you have like three or four people playing, because then you can you can try to get the advantage without trying to overtake them, but. This is like their main way of getting uh, the points here. Uh, scoring, when a purchase is complete, the consortium... Right. When you purchase tulips in this column, draw a card. Okay, when you purchase tulips in this column for each tulip, replace a warrior from your supply in a clearing where you have any pieces. Any pieces, not your rule. That's kind of cool. When you purchase this tool... So these are kind of like the otters. Kind, kind of not really at all like the otters, but a little bit like the otters. When you purchase tulips in this column, move one of your warriors or pawns from a clearing you rule. So you get a free move. That's kind of cool. Um, and you hold an auction at the end of your... Or, at, well, beginning of your evening. Hmm. How do you draw cards? Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Any unsold tulips at the end of the turn go here. When the auction is over, draw cards equal to the tulips here up to five. Then return those tulips to your supply. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you can put tulips here, here, or here. You can't put them here. Interesting. Okay, anyway, I can't do an auction. Okay, let's just keep going. I can't do the auction. Okay, discard any revealed bird cards. Uh... Revealed, uh, uh, discarding revealed bird cards, return all revealed cards to hand, discard down to five cards. Okay, so now I got just that. Um, I don't get, to, I don't even get to draw a card on my first turn. Wow. Scary. That's scary. Okay, um, I think if I do this, it'll refix this back. Cool. Yep. Okay. If you have no fields on the map, place a field and three warriors on a clear weed have so we don't need to do that harvest any number of times flip a grown field nope okay i know this one a little bit better i've gone through this one a smidge better um you may do that okay cool um i can plant a field token in a clearing you rule without a field so we're going to plant here we can do three actions okay we're going to plant here and we're going to plant here i think at this rate i believe these guys have the advantage plant plant um Place a warrior in each clearing with a field. Place a warrior in each clearing with a field. Sure, we can recruit. Recruit, recruit. 
or build. Hmm. Let's see what happens. One, two, and three. We're going to recruit, 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 and recruit. Sweet. Okay, um, craft using fields. I'm not even paying attention to this, uh, but I got two fox fields. Hmm. Oh, I can actually do fa tax collector. Wow, I didn't even plan on that. That's cool. Um. Also, what happens if these guys, if these guys get ki kicked off the whole map, they're gone. They're like the cats. If they get kicked off, they're gone. These guys come back with bird song. Hmm. It seems like these guys should have um, play six warriors along the river, which. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, maybe they should get, like, place six warriors in a clearing without many people the, the closest to the river as possible or something like that. Might be okay. Um, hmm. Okay, so we did crafting. We're going to grow, roll the die, and we can grow in a thing. And luckily, we have a die here. Uh, rolling the die here. I'll make sure that's a good roll. And we get to put, we get to flip, I believe. Uh, roll a die and flip an ungrown field token in your matching clearing to its grown side uh, in a matching clearing. So we're going to do that with the fox here. Oops. Um, so that's that's good to go. Uh, and then what I want to do is... I almost want to make these bigger so I can see them from space, but that's okay. Um, I'm debating whether or not to spend a card here. I kind of want to keep these. I think I can grow out. I can probably get here and here and get favor of the foxes going for me. So I'm afraid to use that and the fox folk steal is pretty good points. So I'm just going to stop there. Um, discard any reviewable bird cards? No. Uh, that's fine. Then draw one card plus one for showing. Okay. So we're going to draw one card here. Okay. Back to these guys. You may re remove one flood token... One mar I'm sorry, one marsh token in a clearing you rule, which also contains enemy warriors. Remove all pieces from that clearing other than your warriors. Okay, so that's, on that's only defense. It's only defense. Okay. Um, gather, choose any number of clearings for tulips. Remove all the tulips present. Okay, to mark it. No, we don't have any tulips. But we're going to build and grow, I think. Place a tulip in each clearing with a polder. Plus one tulip for each tulip already in. Okay, we're going to build... With a marsh token. Okay, we're going to build. I need to reveal a card matching. Okay, so we're going to reveal these two again. And we're going to build a poter poter. Oops, that's not a poter. Uh, they're up here. Poter poter. Put one here. Put one here. Okay. Um, it seems like... It seems like you can put a number of poters in anything. So if I take, if I, I want to move here, okay. So let's build, build, uh, and then grow. Place a tulip in every poter. Let's try that. So poter, poter. Zoom, and zoom. Okay. So next time I can put a bunch of bunch of tulips there. Okay. So that's my three there. Craft using tulips. Oh, 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 oh. I could not craft this. I have to craft using tulips. I didn't have any tulips. Oh, my bad. Okay, so we're going to take the crossbow, put that back. We're going to take that card back, put that there, and get rid of my point there. That's fine. Okay, fix that. Auction, can't auction, discard any revealed bird cards. Okay, discard down to five cards. Huh, if you get like three bird cards at the beginning, you are in trouble, I think. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Okay, um, harvest any number of times, flip a grown field to its ungrown side with any of your warriors or pawns, score one point. We're going to flip this and get a point. Um, I want to move and plant, I think. I want to move here. And move here. And plant Let's move one more here. Or is that too greedy? Maybe that's too greedy. Move there. So one move, plant, and then we're going to recruit. 
plant and then recruit. Um, and I can recruit four. Okay, um, craft using fields. I'm going to craft Fox Folk Steel for two points, and I'm pretty sure I can do that one. So I got the two here, two foxes. I can do that one, grab a sword, and get my two points there. Okay, grow, uh, roll the growth die. And the nice thing is, is I can do that anyway. So there's a mouse. Oops, what am I doing? You don't recruit, you flip. Flip, there we go. Okay, um, I kind of want to do that so I can get another one, but maybe not, maybe not, okay. Um, discard any reveal bird cards, no, uh, return all of the cards to your hand, no, reveal to build, oh, I kind of want to build too, oh, well, that's fine, and then draw one card plus one, okay, I'm going to start building, I think, next turn, ooh, <laughs> they don't know that I got that. Okay, uh, let's see, we got Flood, you may remove now. Um, I kind of want to walk in here and throw a Flood token down. <clears throat> My question is, how do you get more people? It seems like these guys can't get any people. I lied. I can't read. Gather does that. Then place warriors in a clearing equal to tulips removed. Okay. Okay, so we're going to gather. Choose any number of clearings with tulips and remove all tulips present there. Okay, so you can't... So I can... Oh, I see. You can, you can build up here. You can build up here. Or wait. Right, because if I let it to grow, if I don't do this, I can let it grow and get more next time. I see. Okay, that's interesting. I think I'm going to try to do that then. That's a long way there, so maybe... Huh. I think I'm just going to wait it out. I want to move one here. No, then they can come take it. Let's do two here. That might be safer. So that's my move action. We're going to... Ir move, irrigate, and build. Move, irrigate, and build. Oh, I can't build in the same one, can I? Shoot. Move, irrigate, and... Oh, grow. That's what I want to do. I want to grow. Okay, we're going to grow a bunch. Okay, so there's two now in each one, because you get one per poter and one per per tulip. That's already there, so that's insane. Um, especially if I let it grow until next turn, then... Yeah, that's scary stuff. You can So next time, if I grow here again, I get one, two, three, four tulips in this one. So I'd get all four of these that come here. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, um, that was my third action, and then craft using tulips, so now what can I, I can craft, I can craft uh, the move action. Hmm. I can also make a, I can't make a bag. Uh, I can finally, I can make my crossbow though. Oh, I could have made this last turn, I guess. Oh well, let's make a crossbow, so we'll get that point. Oops, wrong one. Uh, and I think, can't do the auction, can't discard, okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, and then bird song uh, for these guys. They're going to harvest, of course they're going to harvest this one. Uh, score point. Um, take up to three actions. We're going to move, plant, build, battle, recruit, and work. Uh, let's see. I wanted to build. Uh, 
I want to build in a fox. So reveal the card from your hand and clearing your rule, place a building in that clearing. We're revealing the fox card and we're going to build a windmill here. And the reason we're doing it there is because... Um, No, I have no good reason. Okay, we're going to do it in the mouse over here then. Keep it away from them. Uh, we're going to roll the growth die. Oh no, that was just a build. <laughs> we're not there yet. Uh, work. Repeat the harvest action once. Um, no. Plant. No. Place a warrior. Oh, we can move and plant. Let's move and plant. That's it. I wanted to do this. Move two down here and plant down here. And we're going to ruin some days here. I swear these cards are like the most OP thing in the game. But this is how we ruin ruin lives. <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah. Power play. Um. Okay, so that was that. Uh, then we're going to... Craft using fields, uh, can't make scouting party. But, oh, I wanted to craft using that. That's, of course, what I want to do there. Okay, so we're going to use this card. And because I got one, two, and three, and all of this goes bye bye. All of these go bye bye. Uh, one, two, three, and four, and five points. So that gets me to nine. 4 plus 5 is 9. Gives me to 9 points. Um, and it's not looking good for, for these guys. So I think if I were in their shoes, I, or if I were in the farmland cooperative's shoes, I will just um, ransack them and make sure I can kick them off the board and that would be pretty much the end of the game for them. Uh, we're going to flip this one. Cool. Done. Um... That was the grow action, uh, and then we're going to discard any revealed bird cards and draw one card. Okay, um, these guys are hurting, but we're going to flood, can't flood, okay, um, gather any number of tulips, remove all tulips present and place warrior uh, in clearings. So we can put, I guess, three into uh, anywhere. These go back to the supply, I think. No, 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 I'm sorry. These go to the uh, the auction block. Um, they go here, here, and here. And if you're playing with two, can't you just uh, bid for one? So I can just give you three points, and then you get no cards. Oh, I'm sorry, but then you can choose to uh, reject or accept. That's fine. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Gather to market. Oh, okay, I'll allocate in your auction block. Okay, so I'm going to put one in each one, I think. Move, recruit, and draw. That's fine. We're gonna, um, oh, we're gonna build, we can't build in a mouse, I discarded that card, that's a shame. Yeah, so maybe crafting early isn't very good, kind of like the uh, the Woodland Alliance, maybe, in that line. Um, oh, first I gotta recruit three, I think. We're gonna recruit three here. I think I can do this. I think I can put three there and one there. Maybe that's fine. Oh, I see. So they have defense. If I, I'm thinking, if I take these guys and move in here on my next turn, and then I battle, um, if I don't kill this, then they can just um, do that flood action, and then they keep their clearing safe. That is dangerous. Okay, I can see where these guys have some firepower. So you gotta build a little bit of defense up like this. This is actually pretty good. So then if... 
Huh, but then, okay, so if I come in here and, and irrigate, um, yeah, if I come in here and irrigate, then they just have to either battle me or just move everyone out, and then they only lose their farm. Hmm. Interesting. These, these two factions are very interesting together. I think they would make a really good set. I didn't think uh, these guys had much going for them, but they're... They're pretty good. I like them. I like them a lot. Okay, um, gather. So we did the gather thing, market. Okay, we're on our three actions. Okay, so they can battle, they can build, um, and grow. I want to... Yeah, you can't do much here, can you? The good news is, is I can probably um, get three cards here. The bad news is, is I can only get three cards here. And again, 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 if these guys don't buy their cards, it seems like they should get like a point for every two cards that they use to, that go into invest. Like for every, every second investment, the, the tulip goes away. Like you lose the tulip from the, no, that doesn't make too much sense then, does it? Because you need a lot more than that. I'm thinking maybe the tulip should always not uh, be removed from the game, but just go back to the supply. Because if this game goes long enough, then you don't get any more tulips. And there's only 20, so you can only get 20 points from uh, minimum. You could get If you sell all your tulips, then you get 20. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man. Um, I still have three actions to do. Craft using tulips. Um, I do want to kind of grow here. So I think grow is going to be one of the actions here. I can't do much else. I can move there and irrigate there by revealing the, the fox card. I think that's the best I can do there. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm not crafting, but I'm going to hold an auction, I think. I'm going to deny everything. They want to recruit, they want to battle. Okay, I think I'm going to deny everything and just take three cards here. Oops, and flip. Let's try that. We got a bird card. Okay, uh, that was auctioning and then discard. Okay, all the tulips come back. Let me clean this up a little bit. Uh, there. This is strange. Uh, there. There we go. Okay. Even with 20. Um, I don't know. Unless the, the goal would be to sell each one for three. Two or three. Uh, okay, so, um, we got bird song. We got harvest. Well, we can harvest that one in the corner. We get an extra point because the windmill, I believe. Um, yeah, that's under efficiency, under windmills there. Hmm. Okay, so flip there, and they get two points. <clears throat> I get, again, I think in a two-player game, these guys are pretty weak, but in a one-player game, I, or in a, in a one-player game, in, a, in like a three or four, I think they'd be a lot more viable. Um, again, these guys would make a really nice set. I think they're, the themes are super cute. Super cool. Um, that was here. Harvest. Okay, now we're moving up to three. Um, we got investments, so we got a big old build in a... I want to go build here. We're going to move one there. Just one. Just one. And build a, a farm there. Um, and I got to use... I got to lose this. That's how that works. I got to lose that. So move, put a farm, that's called move and plant, and then we're going to build in a mouse clearing. Huh. Well, that's a shame. 
I guess no building this turn. Hmm. <sighs> or no, drawing is more important. Let's keep this. Let's keep this back. Um, he's going to go back. Okay, so I got three axes still. Uh, we're gonna take my ambush back, and I want to grow in a, or I want to build in a fox clearing. Probably this one over here. I say grow, I meant build. Whatever I mean. I want to put that there. Um, so that's one action. Reveal, and I'm already discarding, which is, I think it's okay, but I might get yelled at for someone from that, from someone on that. Uh, we're going to. Man, they get a lot of tokens here too. That's the other thing is you, if you want to come in here and kill this, you need a lot of firepower to get rid of it all. Um, and I can't move here and then there to battle. So, recruit. We're going to recruit. That's what we're going to do. Recruit. Put one here. And then we're going to. I think I can use everyone up here. Yeah, there's everyone. Wow, recruiting is recruiting's huge. Recruit, place a warrior in each clearing with the field. Yep. Wow. Okay. Ah, uh, that's the three of those. Craft using fields. Um, we can't make our thing now, and but we get to draw two cards here. Um, discard bird cards. I do that. Revealed every. Re uh, return all other revealed cards to hand, and then number three, draw a card plus. That works. Okay, so we're gonna draw one, and we're gonna draw two. <clears throat> cool. Okay. Um, back to these guys. They can flood. They can't flood anywhere. Gather. Um, any number of tulips. Uh, we're gonna let it ride. Okay. Um, to mark it now. Uh, and then move from a river clearing. So these guys can like, oh, well, it depends on on their setup, I guess. But they they can like shuffle around. Uh, move from a river clearing. Hmm. Can move here. But then they don't own this anymore, can't do they? Um, build. Apparently, they don't need to be in there. They just need to have the marsh there. That's fine. So I think I can still build here according to the rule. Build, reveal a card matching a clearing with a marsh token to build a polder. So we're gonna uh, pol polder, polder. So we're going to reveal. I'll put reveal cards over here because I think I will get confused. So we did a move. We did a polder, and I think I want to. Can I undo the move? Let's just build a polder there. Build a polder. I want to build another polder here. I think this is what I'm doing. Build a polder in the mouse here. Build a polder in the mouse here. And then we're going to grow. So we're going to take one, two, put those here. Because we got one for the tulip and one for the polder. We're going to put one in the polder here and one in the polder there. <clears throat> I think that's pretty good. Amazing. Craft using tulips. Um... I gotta be careful with my crafting now. Craft using tulips. Um, so all, all of these come back, right? Um, oh no, you can't craft these now. Okay, that's interesting. Um, crafts uh, to move, I don't think that's useful. Craft using tulips. I think I wanna craft a bird card. Get a bag. And get a point. Craft, and then these guys come back to my hand. I have a question. Oh, same thing with these. If I show a card, I can't craft it. Interesting. That's why. That's why that matters. Huh. Okay, so let's come back. Um, return all others. Discard down to five cards. I think they're fine. Okay. Um. These guys, harvest, are going to harvest. I thought I had one. I didn't roll at the end of last turn, did I? I didn't grow. Okay, we gotta roll this, and then that didn't count as a roll. I don't work for the roll. This is at the end of last turn, it was a fox. Um, We're gonna flip that one, of course. Uh, and then we're going to harvest it this turn. And we get two points. Uh, 
uh, we're going to build, we're, what do we need to do? We need to go into a, we need to move down here. Do I need to build a card, magic card you rule? Okay, we're going to get rid of both of these, I think. We're gonna reveal both of these to put a field. Right, we need a field. No, 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 we're not moving here. We're doing it up here, away from harm's way. We're putting that there, and we're putting this here. That was the move, um, plant and build. Move, plant, and build. Both of the, okay, so that was the end of that. Craft using fields, now I can make this one uh, for three points. It's a lot of pieces, remember. One, two, and three go there. This goes, oh, no, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> it stays, okay. Oh, breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, here we go. These go here. Um, That's step number two. Okay, we're gonna grow. I, I'm skipping steps. Bear with me, this is my first time. Or we're doing that, we're flipping that one. Oops, not that guy. We're flipping that one, and I think the problem, okay, here, here's the issue. I want to, I want to use this card to grow again, right? But I can't do that because if I roll again and I get a mouse, then I've wasted my turn, I feel like. Or I've wasted the card. So I don't want to do that yet. Instead, I'm going to take three cards here. One, two, and three. Flip them, and then that's going to be the end of my turn there. Okay. These guys. Flood. They still can't flood. Okay, to gather. They're going to gather all these tulips and put them in their market here. Again, I don't see how these guys are going to get points unless this team buys their points. Unless there's this team buys them and stuff. So even like in a three or four player game, if they never get, if everyone just ignores them, they they try to get a little bit of, um, I guess that's the pull though, because they're like, well, we're not going to buy anything from you. And it's like, well, I'll let you get an extra build all, or whatever this is. I'll let you get an extra draw for one point. Just give me one point. I'll let you draw a card. And they're like, okay, maybe that. So, but again, if you do that with all your, all your tulips there, that's 12. Or, I'm sorry, that's 20. Um, and so you still need to find 10 points from battling or or something. I don't know if it's viable. So I, it depends on the desperation of other other people. But I guess that's how the, um, the otters get their advantages, too. If you just ignore the otters, maybe they wouldn't do so well either. But the whole point about using something like this or the otters has got to be like you get the one small advantage over everyone else, and that's the one that's the one thing that matters. So maybe that's why. Um, okay, so let's see. We're going to gather. Oh, I think I didn't do that. Right. Oh, I did. Okay, so we're going to put one, one, and one. We got three. Uh, we're going to go to market. We did that, but I um, lace warriors. Okay. Place warriors in clearings equal to the tulips. Or, I'm sorry, was I, did I do that wrong? I think you're supposed to put the, all the warriors in the same place. Maybe that's it. It is, that's a little, it should say in those clearings or something like that. But let me see if that makes sense if I put them all there instead. Because that would make sense. You take the tulips out here and then you can go put people there rather than like, oh, they, you know, they go over here or something. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess I did that wrong. Um, first off, I want to grow, so these are going to get two here. This is kind of cute, with the growing tulips. Grow, grow, grow. One goes here. Okay, so now I can cycle a bunch, so I can get draw cards, and I can do this. This is very interesting. Um, I, it looks like I can craft... Can I grow twice? Can't you grow twice? You can grow twice. Then you can craft anything. Grow, 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 grow. So then I have to put one, two, three, four. Is this real? I want a lot more warriors than this then. It says grow. Take up to four actions. I think you should only be able to grow, kind of like the recruit action in, um, well, in the farmlands cooperative here and also the, the cats. You should only be able to do this once per turn. This is insane. I'll put this there. Yeah, 
<laughs> that looks looks a little overkill. Um, man, and the uh, these guys wish they had the uh, the favorite cards now. Shoot. Or you move here, move here in battle, but then you're losing everything you throw here with the Marsh token next turn. Um, oh, other than your warriors. So all your your buildings and your um, tulips would go away too. Hmm. It's kind of a shame. Interesting. Um. So that was Grow, Grow, and... Craft using tulips, I can make like all this stuff, I think. We're gonna craft, we're gonna use that to get three points. Well, this is, you could also do the crafting market here, so we're gonna get that for three points. One, two, three. We're gonna build a bag for one. Uh, we would build another bag, but we can't. And then we're going to craft, hold an auction. All these three are going to go back here. If you craft everything, what is this? Three, four, three, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You only get twenty points. You still need to get uh, somewhere. You still might need to find ten more points somewhere else. Hmm. And with the numbers here, these are kind of unfair. With the number, these guys have twenty, and these guys only have twelve, which is not much, but. I like the number 12 and all, but that just isn't it, that money in this, especially because they don't have the superpower that uh, the Woodland Alliance does. They have very few warriors, but they can they can make do. Um, okay. They're going to draw. You could seriously like put all your tulips in one thing. Just grow a few times, then you got tulip, 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 tulip. You throw that all to the auction, and then, wow, you could flood the market with tulips if you keep doing that grow thing. Insane. I still think row should be only once a, a turn, but I don't know. Okay, uh, we're going to draw three cards. One, two, three. Oops, one, and flip. Okay. Okay, harvest. Um, we're going to harvest in this one here. Flip that for two points. Every turn we're getting two points. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. We finally got a, uh, a, a rabbit card, so we're going to build in a... Or no, we already built in a rabbit. We got We got everything. We're fine. Okay, um, can't make any more of those, so we can't plant, we can't build, we can, we can't work, we're going to, we can't recruit, <laughs> we're going to move in battle, that's about all we can do here. So, move battle battle, I think. Hmm. Let's try this. No, this is just... Strange. Move. Battle, battle here, I guess. Move, battle, battle. Here we go. Two to two. Oh, this isn't looking good. I don't think this was a smart move for... for the farmlands. Move, battle, battle. Um, uh, battling again. Maybe they move out. Let's move back. <laughs> Let's go out. Let's move out. Okay. Hmm. Scary. Okay, uh, that was third action craft using... I'm sorry, that was third action uh, craft using fields. We can... Oh, we can do that one, but that's not very useful. Um, fields, we only have one mouse field. Hmm, no crafting. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to draw three card, uh, grow, gr use the grow die. Oh, that's what I need to do, is hopefully not get a mouse on this one. Why is it always a mouse? I'm going to draw a bunch of cards anyway. We're going to get rid of stuff. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the, uh, the stand and deliver card, because there's no way I'll be able to craft that. Uh, but anyway, we get that one, and we're going to roll again. There's the roll. Okay, rabbit, perfect. We're gonna put, we're gonna flip this rabbit one there. Uh, the ones with the other thing. Um, am I greedy enough? Am I greedy enough? Do I think I can get one more here? Let's get rid of the scouting party and do the same thing, because I'm gonna draw three cards anyway. 
Oops, I'm just flipping. There we go. Mouse again. Oh well, wasted card. Okay, we're gonna draw three cards. One, two, three. One and flip. Okay. Um. Short line con consortium. Consortium. Uh, flood. Can't flood. Gather any number of tulips. Oh my god, this is gonna be insane. We're gonna gather all of these guys here. Oh, you can also use them as defense. Because they gotta get through all the tulips before they get to any of the good stuff. <sighs> wow. How complicated is this? I wanna take all these and put them here. And we're gonna take all four of these guys and put them here. And I I can't follow this correctly. Anyway, these are gonna go here. Okay, this is crazy. Um I keep forgetting I can do um tax collector. Oh well. Okay, I think we can put them in I think you can put all six in one. I don't think you have to wait what? Seven? I don't think you have to put all of them into um, in columns like this. It might be kind of interesting that for every ah oh man, every tulip you get over two, then you get a point or something like that in the red. So you only get one at one each for the auctions. Maybe that might be interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I think these guys need a little bit more work. I think they're they have a really good promise though for the start, but it's it's weird. But it's it's so cool. Craft using, okay, so we're going to, we did market, we did gather, we did all that. Okay, we're good. Um, I want to move three here. One, two, and three here. Four? Maybe a fourth one there. We're going to irrigate. I'm not even looking at my cards. I just assume I can, but yes, I'm double checking. I can irrigate. And then I want to grow, I guess. I want to grow at least one here. And I only got a few to put here, so maybe... I can only put one here. Okay, so then I got to put the rest here. Then let's go one there and another one here. Hmm. Okay, so that was it. Move, irrigate, and grow. Okay, craft using tulips. I can make a boot. Get a point. All my points are from crafting. I just realized I can move from here to here. But that's fine. Okay, so we crafted a boot. This, where did, where did this go? Oh, that's me revealing to, yeah, right. That's me revealing to, to do that. Okay. Um, initiate a battle. Let's do both of these. Let's do both of those. Because I'm going to draw a bunch of cards anyway. And can I, I can't make another bag. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, auction. I think he really wants to draw a card. Let's do two points for a card draw. And this goes away. Oh, let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is for the card draw. Let's do three. Let's say we did three. I'll give you for three. Fine. I'm so far ahead of you. Three is fine. You can take three. Uh, the rest are going to be back in your supply. And we're going to draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that might be useful. Yeah, they're going to hold on to that one. 
Um, ambush in a rabbit might be useful too. Bird card for that. Eh, we'll get them some point. Yeah, they'll, they'll hold on to that one. Um, they don't need this one. Everything else is good. This is going to come back to their hand. They don't need this card. They need to get rid of one more. Hmm, maybe the ambush card. Because who cares? They're not going to get through any of that anyway. Okay, um, Birdsong, um, I think that was the end of theirs, discard down to five cards, yeah, sure, cool, Birdsong, um, Harvest, they're going to Harvest here for two, and Harvest here for two, that gets them four, one, two, three, four points, they're looking pretty, um, Daylight, uh, take three actions, move, plant. They can't plant, they move in battle, I guess. But here, they're gonna move two in because they can only, that's uh, according to their rule here, Masters of the Waterways. Marsh tokens are, when moving into a clearing with a marsh token, enemies cannot move in more warriors than you have present there, so I can only move in two, but we're gonna battle there. Two to zero, bye bye. Okay, so they're getting they're gonna get some points here and they're gonna battle one more time. Two and three, so they're gonna remove three of these. These go back here, I guess. And they get three points uh un undefended, so they get a three. So they get three points. One, two, and three. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um That was their third one. That was their third one. Then they're going to craft using fields. Right, craft using fields. Um, they can make a boot. And they can make... Yeah, they're going to make a boot. They're going to make a, uh, a sword. A boot. And a sword. For three points. Both of these go away. A boot and a, shield, a sword. Uh, for three points. One, two, and three. Um, looking really good for farmland cooperative right now. Farmlands cooperative. Um, the crafting grow using the growth die. Going into mouse. <laughs> I know something they don't know. Um, we're gonna flip this one. We're gonna spend a this card to roll again because I don't think it will matter for that. Great, we got a fox. We're gonna build, we're gonna flip in a fox over here. And we're going to flip in a fox. What else? We're gonna draw three cards anyway. Let's go ahead and do a fox there and a flip uh, and roll it one more time. Anything but mouse, fox again. Uh, let's do that one up there. Okay, that was uh, the grow action, and then discard any revealed bird cards. Then we're going to draw three cards. One, two, and three. Flip. And we're looking good. Um, my money is on the Farmlands Cooperative, but these guys are going to have a, a sweet little turn here for a second. Um, so we're going to flood. Um, you know, it'd be kind of fun um, if you do gather first and then flood, but that's okay. I guess you can't have, you can't have your cake and eat it too. So we're going to get rid of all... That means you would get rid of everything here. Um, that's a shame. I don't think we're. I want. I really want to flood just because I can see I did. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if this is the best move to do here, but anyway. Uh, it would also be really cool. You remove cardboard, right? Do you get five points for that? Because you remove all your stuff. But anyway, these guys go away. I think you can only get. Um, I don't know if there's any other faction that gets rid of their own uh, cardboard. I think the Woodland Alliance gets rid of. Um, a warrior to spread sympathy. Hmm. Cats, no. Vagabond, of course not. Uh, 
Otters almost do that in reverse with the um, building, but I mean, that's pretty normal. Oh, crows. The crows do that. They do that to spread tokens. No, no, no. They, they remove a warrior to spread tokens. So they're not, they're not removing cardboard. No one removes cardboard to, to do stuff. Okay, and then we're going to remove all of these. They're all going to go here. Um, oh, and also removes the this thing. There we go. Removes that. Moves everything except warrior so that, that thing is empty. Um, put that there. These guys are going to get recruited into here. Uh, we're going to move... What can I do? Yeah, we're going to move... Irrigate... And use that one to build, move, irrigate, build, move, irrigate, and build. Oh, no grow action this time, but that's fine. The turn the game's almost over. Um, craft using tulips. We're going to craft this wonderful thing here. Oh, or wait, I didn't have to flood. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, we're going to put these five back. We don't need a flood. We don't need a flood at all. We got that card. Okay, put all this back. Let's restart this turn. Let's see if I can remember where everything was. This is going to go there. Fl that was still there. These guys were not there. These guys were there. I believe this is how we started. And there was uh, there was a building here. There we go. Okay, I believe that's how we started. Um, yes. Sure. Sure, why not? Okay, so we are going to build in this mouse down here. We're going to use this to build in the mouse down there. We're going to grow. So we take six and put them here. No. No, a bunch of these were down here, huh? Five were down there. That was it. That's how that worked. And then what, six were here? Something like that. I think that was right. Something like that. Okay, we're going to put this back. Put that back. Start of the turn. Right? Is that how it works? We're going to gather from here. Gather any number of clearings from them. Okay, and then we're going to gather from here. These are all going to go there. This is going to go here, like that. Okay, now we are on, do I want to grow? No, we're going to build here, reveal this mouse to build there, not that one, I need that one. This one, we don't need that one. To build here. Or maybe every time you build one of these, you get a point, maybe that'd be useful too, just so people don't keep killing your stuff off. Or every time you use a flood, you actually can get an advantage by being able to build your building again. Might be pretty good. Um, Gather, we're going, oh my god, what next? Grow. We built, we're going to grow, I think, so one here, one here, two here, one there, and the rest down here. Yay for snapping. Um. So we built, we grew, and we're going to, I kind of want to irrigate, but there's nowhere to irrigate. Oh, how interesting. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I do this, if I move everyone here, these, no one can come in this clearing. Right? It says, when I'm moving into a clearing with a marsh token, enemies cannot move in more warriors than you have present there. I think I'm missing that dynamic. So then can't you just make a flood wall that just like, you keep flooding over and over and over. You keep pushing them back because you keep flooding. So you build a flood, 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 and then you keep, I think you could just keep pushing them back. I think I missed that whole dynamic with this. Because like, well, it's got a flood token, you can't. And then so unless they can somehow jump over your flood line, which I don't think you can. I think everyone has to walk through a clearing. Maybe not Corvid. Corvid would be able to jump around. That would be... Much trickier. Um, 
Woodland Alliance wouldn't be able to spread. Uh, you can't put Warriors. Um, they'd be able to put their sympathy, though. They'd be able to spread sympathy. Um, cats, no way. Once you, once cats are... Ca cats have to be connected to move around. Uh, same thing with the Eerie. Uh, the Duchy could dig. That would be difficult. Otters could always be on the river. Or could otters also go into your... your um, because they can't move into it, but you can be placed into it. When you move in, in more warriors than you present there. Interesting. This looks, looks nice, by the way. Hmm. I think it depends on what um, faction you go against. Corvid, Duchy, Lizards, Lizards. You can convert so and sanctify and stuff, so that wouldn't be... You could You could make that work. And you just place warriors in. Yeah, lizards would be, wouldn't care. Hmm. I think I did this wrong, because then I could, if I pushed better, then I would be able to do that. So you gotta, like, get some firepower with your cards and the growing thing, and once that's set up, you just start pushing. And maybe these guys could, wouldn't be able to have so much, um, room to, to work with. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's, let's finish this up. So we had, uh, build, grow, and... And move. Yeah, build, grow, and move. Okay, build, grow, and move. We're going to craft using tulips. We're going to craft this bad boy right there. We can't. Okay, they don't move. They don't move. We got to grow again. We can't. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's too bad. <clears throat> Okay, then what happened is instead <laughs> let's let's rewrite history. Instead, these these six were here. Um, they didn't go away because we need we need the, uh, the the mouse points. These go these go away instead, so they only get the one there. And then these are these are here somehow like that, something like that, something to that effect. Um, now okay, so everything else is fine. <clears throat> um, we can move. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I think that I think we're kind of legit, uh, legit enough. Anyway, uh, we got this for crafting. We're gonna do that and kill this off. These guys go away, and we kill all this off. Uh, and this says popular support. Uh, no, no. Uh, Whenever a player removes a field from a clearing, they must discard a matching card if they cannot show they show the hand. Um, but before that, we're going to craft T. Uh, and we get two points. We kill that off. We got two points from that. I have no... Oh, I guess I have to give them this then. Or can we just craft this? Let's just craft that. Use. We'll pretend we crafted with other stuff. Yeah, the thing. Look at that. We got plenty of crafting points, and we can make one more T here, I think. For two more points. Okay, let me double check again. Uh, we got two, three, and four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. Missing a point somehow. Or I got an extra point somehow. I think I should be at 15. Two. Oh, no, no, no. Three. Three for that card. There it is. There, that's the third one. Okay. Um, okay, so that's crafting using tulips. And then we got our auction. Um, this comes back to our hand. Hold an auction. Resolve the results. Moving to the next step. Uh, for me, okay. Let's see, do these guys want an auction? I don't think they need one. No. Double checking. Hmm. Move battle. Battle, I'm wondering if they can guarantee a win next turn. I don't think they can. Hmm. 
Hmm. These guys aren't as defenseless as I thought they were. Very interesting faction. Um, but let's try this anyway. Oh, so seriously, right now they could be like, I really want one card if I, or these guys, if I, I really want one card, if I get one card, I'll, I'll give you uh, a few points. They're like, oh, how about you give me 15 points for a card? And I'd be like, shoot, <laughs> right? Um, wow. Otherwise, no, I can't afford to give them any points because all, I think the, the logic here is they want as many points as possible and they want to uh, give them as few points as possible. So they're not going to do it for anything less than 15 um, so all these go back, they get to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cards. Yeah, flip. And let's see here, they're going to, wow. A bake sale is useless. The bag is useless for just crafting things. No, there's no more things to craft. Uh, this card is super useful. Um, the sword is useless, but having a mouse card is probably pretty good. Sappers is pretty good, just because it's something. Maybe this stuff goes away. Maybe like that. Okay. Dang. Um, these guys, they get to harvest any number of times. They're going to harvest this one. Oh, I'm sorry. They have two. I thought they only had one. Anyway, there's harvest, harvest. That's it. That's game. Cool. And that's the end of Farmlands Cooperative versus the Shoreline Consortium. Um, thanks for watching. That was... That was fun. That was pretty cool. See you next time.